Uh, this is Gordon Ryan versus the Hillbilly Hammer. Hillbilly Hammer, one of my personal favorites. Gordon, though, best grappler alive right now. Let's not forget Gordon is so much bigger than him. Gordon sponsored by Bitcoin Cash? It's like the worst crypto there is. Maybe they're hooking him up. I hope he's getting paid. Hope they're not paying him in Bitcoin Cash. I think this is something worth mentioning is the fact that Couch has made it no secret whatsoever. Man, he's all over Couch's head, just hanging heavy. Good, perfect head positioning by Gordon. He's kind of letting Jacob tie him up however he wants. So Jacob's got this two on one Zanjeev grip right here for Burst Gamora. Gordon's just not worried about it at all. Respects the fact that he goes out there, kill or be killed. To be honest, whereas Gordon had much better. I love how relaxed Gordon's career, game is. He's just he always like loose. He always looks he loose and comfortable. Just like Gordon was a couple of years ago, and they share that in common. Yeah, oh, no, Jacob, that was ill-advised. Now he's looking to oppose his will. Ill-advised shot the there. He's kind of reached in to grab and ended up with his head down. Now he's down on the bottom of a front headlock with a 620-pound Gordon Ryan pressing down on his head. And he's in this front headlock territory right here. But it's it's interesting to note because he didn't even really have to sprawl. But look at this. Now pressuring forward. Did Gordon call his shot again? Did he hand him my envelope to start the show off? The envelope said, Andre, I know you're watching. Heavy sprawl from Gordon on top here. Andre fought on one too, right? I did see that one. It's definitely a part of the game with a way It's gonna be a tough match for Andre. Be a factor. Couch wearing well for the moment, though. Look at Gordon the way he moved into the truck right there off of the right right ranch. That was sick. Ryan. That was a good job by Jacob keeping himself. For the most part, out of trouble. He ended up on the bottom with Gordon passing, though. Man, I'm looking around inside the venue here, and the crowd of Sean Ryan is a true case study. Jacob not doing bad with his guard right there. Until he was. Now he's got Gordon right over. Gordon just kind of waited around, <clears throat> let Jacob's guard drop just a little bit. As soon as he saw chest to chest on the forward, got a strong cross face competition from this top half guard position. Yeah, Gordon really does look like a wet blanket out there in the and I mean that in the best way possible. Position. No space weighing He's on Jacob, making things so here. miserable here. This is a, a, a very uncomfortable position to be on a bottom. Well, Jacob tried to elevate him. Man, his foot is way out of position there. I was going for this false reap. Look at this. Oh, he's going to get a shot at it. What can he do with it? I don't know. But he's about to put him in the honey hole right here. He's got to get his right leg out from the bottom. Belly down, Jacob. Go. Belly out. Belly out. Create that off balance. There it is. Look at that. There it is. Oh. That was nice. That was a nice play. I don't think he's going to be able to surprise Gordon right here, though. How sick would that be? Look at Gordon though. starts to pull that foot up and out. Makes him switch off to the 50-50 and then sticks his free foot into the armpit. That was good. And now Gordon has the offensive angle. Look how he's facing him with the 50-50. Gordon's up on his hip. Jacob's sitting on both butt cheeks. So... Gordon really with all the offensive potential from the 50-50 here. Jacob tried to darse him from the 50-50. Pulling himself out of position What is inside this envelope that he gave what is, what See how Gordon kept his say? left hand on the inside against that what is the kind of K guard attack, and now he's coming out with his Toriyama to pass it. Because we know that he enters every match, and now he's pressure. I love Gordon's game. He's so good. Very specific 
objective in mind. <laughs> I'm gonna finish them this way. Doesn't even think I may win this match. Oh, look at that cross face. As an idea, I will the top of half. I always tell people this is where good black belts go to die. Bottom half guard. Passing giving up the under the equation. Pressure passing. I mean, he just cut straight through it with that there no dance pass. That was Gordon insane. Ryan now Jacob's really so bad out of position here. The and listen, I would be too. Um, high. Could he go for the head no, here? no shade being thrown at Jacob here. I love that he stepped up and did Gordon's not even looking for the arm triangle. He's just looking to make Jacob as miserable as possible. Let's be heavy on him. Be uncomfortable. And fight an attack from here. Jacob Couch turns to his side. A good mount is rare to see in no gi, but Gordon, his mount is phenomenal. Most people in no gi, their mount is terrible, even like the good guys. Just not that good I get at mount. The Chase. Watching Luckily, though, most people are not very good at escaping right. mount either. Just Even most brand belts, I would say. But particularly at the Mount Paul fans and Nogi, seriously, seriously lacking. Jacob just trying anything. He's got this butterfly stomp, and he's trying to pull on Gordon's head, but he's just not in the right position to really make that effective. I mean, this is that position Ryan I call the touch right pass. Look, Gordon's going to do it. He's going to underhook him right here. Oh, he's going to cut through instead. Man, Jacob's hanging in there. He's up on his side now. It's not nearly as heavy. He's trying to dig that leg out of there. It's just madness. Gordon's got all his weight leaning on it. Goes in, Nelson, and oh my God, flatten him back over, there straight back into this. What he wants here now, isolating that arm. Working for it. Man, Gordon's cooking him bad. Oh, straight to the mount again. I like that Gordon passes straight to the mount when he can. That's a, I think that's a way better strategy than going from passing the guard into side control. So you really can't attack anybody from side control. In MMA or in no gi, I'm not saying I shouldn't say you can. It's just way, way, way harder. Or go belly down rather. Gordon completely in the driver's seat here with 21 minutes left on the clock. You can see the man Jacobs on the run now. Here comes the chair set. Because even though Gordon is, we may drag him back into the arm triangle here. The weight that he is driving down through Jacob Couch into the mat. It must be like the weight of a thousand bricks. Man, that's a lot of pressure. So and uncomfortable. Territory here, should he wish. Will he go high? He's, he working this <laughs> Jacob just hanging on back into the half. He's finding a way to survive, isn't he? I feel like if Jacob it's just a matter of time. Two underhooks. More and more that's it. He won't recover from this one. Two underhooks. He's going to mount and move up towards the arm lock here. Look at that upward pressure against the head and the chair. Or just being light with his feet. This is bad. This is the heaviest position in jiu-jitsu. Well, I thought it was about to be. He decided not to go with the arm lock. Jacob again says, no, you're not getting it that easily. Jacob keeps trying to give his back. This is the first time Gordon has really taken a look at it. Jacob's going to force him back to mount again. Look at that passing. That's just so next level. He has to wrestle his up his way up through the 230 pound figure of Gordon Ryan. Kimura. And it's interesting to note that the weight difference is not as big as people thought. Yeah, we're looking at roughly 30 pounds of uh, 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 difference here, and Gordon now dropping off, maybe. Oh, it's going to be the reverse here. triangle? That triangle locked up and oh, he doesn't even want to finish that. No surprise, judges favor Gordon Ryan. He doesn't even want to finish it. Can he go for the Kimura here? 
I mean, he could have finished that for sure. He chose not to finish that. That's crazy. To be able to to toy with somebody that's at Jacob Couch's level is just insane. He's going back to this double underhooks right here. I think Gordon doesn't like how much movement he's getting. See how he doesn't want Jacob to show the back? He wants to smash him in the mount. So he keeps on hitting that Nelson and wrapping through, flattening him out. No, you're not allowed to turn and show me your back. Jacob Couch is suffering here. That's because the mount is the better position. But he hasn't it's just true. submitted yet. And who knows? Can he find oh, a way out? Now, belly down with a guy on your back? That's a different story. That's the best position in fighting. Followed closely by the mount. There's the two underhooks. He's not coming out of this. I didn't think he was going to make it out before. Two underhooks. He's going to slide his knees up, move his chest up, or move his hips up around the chest. Cut his angle. Oh, man. This is bad. Jacob wants to, He's trying so hard to frame and push out, but his arms are just so out of position. He can't do it. Really, the question is at this point, how long can Jacob Couch hold on? How long can he resist? Things are, are getting very nasty down there for him. Great variety. There's the angle. This is it. That's the end of the fight. That's the heaviest position in jail. Oh, he didn't even want nothing to do with it. I can't say I blame you, Jacob. I wouldn't want anything to do with that either. That's for real the heaviest position there is in all set to go. The way that Gordon transitioned from the full position into the Gordon's Gordon's so good. I don't think he quit to pressure. I think it was just that was the end of the match. There's no, there no more defending the arm. Why am I going to let this About big as animal dominant a try to straighten as you could hope I think to it was a good call. Gordon Ryan looks to be back. Lasted and way longer than I would have, Couch. That's for sure. <laughs> What's next for Gordon? Uh, I don't think he's got anything big coming up before ADCC, right? ADCC, he's got to have all eyes on ADCC right now for sure. All eyes on Andre Galval. I think he needs to be worried way more about the division than Andre Galval, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously Galval is one of the greatest of all time, but I can't see Andre beating Gordon. I really can't. I don't know how he beats him. I don't know how he engages with him and beats him. Maybe he could stay on the outside and not really participate in the match and he could get some judges to sway it for him. But I hope that doesn't happen. Nobody wants to see that. I think even Andre's fans, are they would rather see him get in there and get after it and mix it up. All right, that's another video from us. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you think.